Hey everybody, it's Steve. We're back in Star Realms. In the last episode, we completed Chapter 12 of the campaign, Strange Alliances. So in Chapter 13, we're going to be taking on Coalition Victory. This is a new chapter, and we have some new cards. So before we do that, we're going to head into the card gallery, and I'm going to explain what each of these cards actually does. So when you go into the How to Play section, card gallery will be on the bottom left, and Star Realms... I'm playing this on Steam. You can get it, obviously, on Steam. You can also get it through the App Store um, for iOS devices. On Google Play for Android devices, you can actually also go out and buy this as a physical game. And it is kind of timely because the day I'm recording this, I'm about a month away from International Tabletop Day 2018. And this is a great game that you can pick up and play for two people and if you want to see more on how to play this game will wheaton and the tabletop crew over at geek and sundry they do a great job explaining how you can do this with more than two people that link of course is in the description so we have year one promos bases and battleships events heroes fleets and fortresses colony wars cosmic gambits year two promos and united command this is what we're going to be talking about before we head into the match itself. We're gonna start off with the Unity Fighter. It is representing the Blob and the Machine Cult. And in the top left, we're gonna be seeing some combinations for cards uh, between the factions. So you can see it has the Blob Fighter aspect, but also has some Machine Cult aspects to it as well, taking out a Trade Federation Freighter. This costs one, this is a good starter card. You may scrap a card in the trade row, gives you three attack, and if you like playing with a thinner deck, you can scrap this card and also scrap a card in your hand or discard pile. So this is a really good card, and you're definitely getting some decent bang for your buck if you're getting three attack for just one trade. Next up, we have the Blob mixed with the Star Empire. This is their Assault Pod. Costs you two to pick up, gives you three attack, and if either a Blob or Star Empire card comes out, it lets you draw another card. And this is the ally ability that'll activate for either faction in the United Command setup. The Alliance Frigate, there's two of these, is also two of the Assault Pods and Unity Fighters. You'll see the quantity at the top as I'm going through these. The Alliance Frigate has the Star Empire logo in gold and the Trade Federation in blue. Three trade gives you four attack natively but if you have another Trade Fetter or Star Empire card, we'll talk about the Star Empire first, gives you an extra three attack, so it becomes a seven attack card. If you have another Trade Federation card out in play, you get five more authority. So if you have a really heavy Star Empire Trade Federation deck, you can get seven attack and five authority just from this one card, very similar to the Bounty Hunter that we saw in the year two promos. And if you manage to get both of them and you get them both out at the same time, you're gonna be dealing some hefty damage with just two Alliance frigates. Next up, we have the Coalition Freighter. This is the combination between the Trade Federation and the Machine Cult. Gives you, costs you four. And unlike the Trade Federation Freighter, this one only gives you three trade. You also have the same ally ability as the Freighter. Put the next ship you acquire this turn on top of your deck. And the Machine Cult ally ability only activates when there's a Machine Cult card in play. Scrap a card in your hand or discard pile. So the Coalition Freighter and the Unity Fighter, both of them pretty good if you want to thin out your deck as you're playing as United Command. There's also two of these in the United Command pack if you buy it separately from the core set or for Colony Wars. Now, there's only 12 cards in the United Command expansion. And when you buy one, you're gonna get the same cards every single time. So everything from cost five and up is only one of them. First up, we have the Alliance Landing. This is a combination for the Star Empire and Trade Federation. Costs you five, gives you five as an outpost, meaning the AI or your opponent, you're going to have to go through it. Two trade every turn and a Star Empire card or Trade Federation card, could be a base, could be a ship will give you two extra attack each turn. The Coalition Fortress, this is the first base I bought when I started playing with the United Command setup. And this is a good card. I like this one quite a bit. Six trade to pick it up. It's an outpost with defense six. Gives you two trade, much like the Alliance Landing. 
and this ally ability is two attack. You can get two attack for a Machine Cult or Trade Federation card, or you can get some extra authority. Let's say you have this up and you have a lot of outposts in play, you're running low on authority, you can just want to give yourself a little bit of breathing room. Moving on to the Unity Station, this is a Blob Machine Cult base. I haven't actually picked this one up yet in my playthroughs of the game and the United Command set just to get familiar with it. Costs you seven, gives you six outpost defense, meaning you gotta go through it. Every turn this card is out. You may scrap a card in your hand or discard pile, and you may scrap a card in the trade row. Combining those two aspects that we saw earlier with the Unity Fighter, and if either a Blob or Machine Cult card or base or ship or base comes out, gives you an extra four attack. The Union Cluster, this is an impressive one. I haven't picked this one up either. It costs you eight, so it's on par with a command ship, it's on par with a Capital World, a Fleet HQ, a Brain World, uh, I think, let's see, Blob World is the base Blob 8 cost card. So Blob Star Empire base, 4 attack natively each turn, and if you get one of those other cards, you get to draw a card as well. Okay, we've done that, now let's get back into the campaign. Chapter 13, Coalition Victory. The last campaign there was a fight and we kind of drove the Unity back a little bit, but we're going to be starting off with 50 authority, so will the Unity... Let's see what the briefing is. You are Federation CEO Chris Shaner. Your recent allegiance with Star Empire lackey Brenton Click ended in an unprofitable battle to end a pointless war. You were able to unite several scattered machine cultists that were separated from their hive mind, and they now respond to your uniquely talented leadership. The machine cult revere callous efficiency and you are a master of that discipline. You have spent the past few weeks building your coalition forces. You took over the abandoned mining operation at Samson's Landing, and you turned a processing plant in orbit of Morgana II into a serviceable shipyard. You recently started sending ships outside the Morgana Nebula to strip abandoned Trade Federation bases for parts. Perhaps the tranquility of being so close to the sun gave you a false sense of security. You are ashamedly caught unawares when a new threat approaches your operation. This appears to be a blob fleet, but it features a terrifying mix of organic and machine parts. The ships identify themselves as the Unity, and they are not interested in conversation. You order your shields raised. Okay, so I'm trying to actually remember when we were last working with Shaner. I want to say it was in chapter 8, maybe? I'm really trying to remember right now. But the achievements that we're now going to be seeing in chapter 13, they do play well together. So the achievements for this one, win with at least 40 authority, win after playing 8 ships in the same turn, and win after doing both in the same game. It is very possible to get that to get those achievements done. Let's kick the sound down just a little bit. The rules for this one. This one's actually really helpful if you go a lot for one faction. When you acquire a card, if you've played a card of that faction this turn, put it directly into your hand. This only works once per turn and works for both players. So if I'm playing Heavy Trade Federation, there's a good Trade Federation card on the board. I want to buy that one first to make sure I get it into my hand. Everything else will go straight into your discard pile, and you'll have to shuffle them back on through. Let's take a look at the starting hands for the player and the Unity. Coalition Fortress is something you start off with since you're working with the Machine Cult and you're the CEO uh, for the Trade Federation to start off. In addition to that, we have two repair bots that'll help us... Uh, Thin out our deck a little bit. The Unity, starting off with six scouts, a battle bot, two Unity fighters, and a swarmer. So if a couple of these guys come out at once, my Coalition Fortress is going to be deader than Disco. Didn't have anything that I played. I could go for... Orbital Platform would be pretty good, so would Predator. But I almost need something that can get me some trade. We got two trade coming in here. 
This would give me some authority. I'm going to go for the orbital platform and go for the predator. Just to have a little bit of punching. Okay. He's going to be able to take out the fortress right away. And the warning beacon, that's a card you automatically get that ability with because it's a warning beacon. Now, if I had any machine cult cards, I could pull them down right away. And since I'm already scrapping scouts, I need to pull some more down. Let's go for the command center, because I want to have a little bit of defense. A swarmer. Damn. I'm not going to scrap my or my bots real quick, but it's going to happen. I'm already below 40 authority. So I gotta start going for cards that'll, gear, that'll grant me some authority. And this I'll automatically get him because I played him, but I'm gonna do this. Get that one because I already played my Federation card. I'm gonna scrap the incinerator. I don't want that falling into their hands. All right, six. I'll determine what to do with the fortress here in a moment. I'm going to go... Ooh, there's the Coalition Freighter. Unfortunately, it came down a little too late for me. I'm going to go for Authority, because I want to try to get... I've already got the achievement for eight ships in the same turn. Now I've got to get my Authority above 40. Say that one five times fast. All right. I can scrap out some of these guys. Maybe I can get the Wrecker here. I actually can... But I'm not going to be able to use them. If that makes any sense. I can pull them in. But I don't want to scrap any of the cards that are in my hand right now. Definitely don't do that. Plenty of attacking dealt. And the central station, that would have been a great one to have. Unfortunately, the AI is scrapping the highest cost card that is in play every single turn. Get rid of the Viper. I'll scrap the Moonworm out. Play the Trade Hauler. Give me some authority and the ability to draw up. More drawing. And amazingly, that I only have the three scouts left. That's gonna that's not gonna really help me much. Really, if anything, it's just gonna let me do more attacking. So let's go for a patrol cutter. We'll do the Falcon. Make the AI scrap a little bit. Oh god. The dreadnought came down. Not happy about that. Let's keep scrapping. We'll discard this, see what we get. I'll take it. We'll get some extra authority from this. Ooh, there's the Union Cluster. This is the first time I've ever bought that. Kind of happy about that. Hope oh, I can do both here, but I only have four. Oh, nope. There goes my defense. All right, we'll discard the Scout. And my Wrecker is essentially useless now to me. I'll do this and I'll draw up because I have the orbital platform. I'll grab the Alliance Frigate. Give me some extra authority. Don't want to scrap anything. So I'll hit none. And unfortunately, I have lethal, but I don't have the 40 authority. So, a little disappointing I can't do it. But... I do think if the cards are coming out a little differently and I was able to buy more Trade Federation ships and get the right ships in play in the right order, I definitely think that, I already did on my iPad, I do have all three achievements for it. But unfortunately I'm not going to get it on this attempt. So that is the first mission in chapter 13. 
I do like how the Unified Command, how these new cards play in with everything, because if you go heavy on one faction, it's really dependent on having that one faction come out when you play. With the Coalition Fortress, with the Alliance Freighter, or the Alliance Frigate, you actually have this opportunity to do a, a really good... I don't want to use the word synergetic, because I'm pretty sure it's not a word, but having a good synergy between two factions and getting them to work together and just doing a phenomenal amount of damage, getting a phenomenon on trade, authority. It's something you can easily do with these new cards when you add them into your game. But that's, of course, just going to wrap it up for this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying the videos that come out on my channel on a daily basis. Thank you again for watching. I will see you all in the next video.